Now, to mark the 80th anniversary of D-Day, a cafe in High Wycombe has released a song raising money for veterans' welfare. Forever Dancing in Your Heart is an original track from the team at the Air Raid Shelter Cafe and Tea Room, along with a group of veterans and customers. Jay Akbar went to meet those involved. This isn't just a catchy exercise in nostalgia. Coming up to 80 years since the D-Day landings, this song was written for the men and women who lived through it. Forever Dancing in Your Heart was made to raise money for the Normandy Trust charity, which cares for veterans and makes sure they aren't forgotten. Good luck to good luck and people that got killed. I mean, innocent people as well. Ken was too young for the Normandy invasion, but served three years, mostly in Belgium. He hasn't always been looked after. I live in a wonderful home for um, veterans. It's wonderful. The treatment we get, um, um, if I may say, I think you deserve it. Oh, I think that, well, no more, no different than anybody else. That is why Chris felt he needed to record the song. Every time I hear it, I, think, I just think of kind of people dancing in a, at a tea dance, and then I see care homes coming in, and I see them dancing and clapping to it. And I think that's a nice, warm feeling. I hope that when people listen to the song, they're left with a bit of a warm feeling. Best to ask them. A great song, and it will go a long way. It brought back a lot of memories. Any good memories as well? Yeah, a good memories. Well, I was in the forces in the Wrens, so, and I travelled a lot. So it brings lots of different memories from different countries. The setting helps too, because the moment you step inside the Air Raid Shelter Cafe, you're transported to a time you'd think veterans would rather forget. We've been meeting quite a few veterans during the film of the video and I asked them what was your favourite decade and they all said the 40s because that's quite often where they met their wife or their partner and they, had, they missed their mates and the camaraderie. So that surprised me because I thought they would want to forget that time, but they don't. Best not to forget them or what they went through. Jay Akbar, ITV News.